today on Divorce Court. Gilbert's drinking has become a financial burden. I haven't had a drink since I came from uh, an alcohol treatment program, but she's pushed me to the edge where I feel like I want to drink again. Gilbert says I'm a mama's girl, but that's completely not true. Me and her are best friends, but a mama's girl, no. Kenya, she'll get in the bed with me and say, can you cuddle with me like I do with my mom? I mean, that just makes me feel, what's going on here? Gilbert, if you don't grow up, stop your drinking habits, and help me take care of the kids, then I'm not dealing with you anymore. Kenya's mother gets in the way because she does everything she can to be involved or in control of everything that we do as a couple. I just wish she would butt out. Divorce Court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Kenya Price Johnson and Gilbert Lee. The two of you have been together for 12 years. You have two children together. You have yet to get married, and you're not quite sure if you should, so you've come to me for your opinion. You've given me your marriage license with permission to tear it up. Should I think it's not a good idea? You've filled out my compatibility tests. And uh, now you're going to tell me what's going on in your relationship, why you love each other, but why you're concerned that marriage may not be the way to go. Ms. Price Johnson, I'm going to start with you. Um, Your Honor, I've met Gilbert a long time ago, um, about 12 years ago. Uh, we met, well, you know, met, we met in the neighborhood, mm -hmm. um, and I didn't, at first I didn't want to talk to Gilbert, but he came on to me, so, um, you know, mm. as time progressed, mm -hmm. um, I, realized, <laughs> I realized that he, you know, he had a great personality. You know, he, it was never a dull moment. He always made me laugh and smile. We always had fun together. Um, <laughs> years down the line, Gilbert has a drinking habit, which was fun back then, but now, you know, as adults and we have kids together, it's time to, like, grow up and, you know, time to, like, overcome that. Um, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Lee? Yes, ma'am. Uh, do you <laughs> so far agree with the with the um, the events as she described them? Uh, except for the part of I came on to her. What you you, <laughs> you say she came on to you? Yeah, she came on to me. I mean, I was out with the homies and she come walking up the street. I, hey, I wasn't looking me. for her. <laughs> he stopped me, Your Honor. Okay. And the drinking thing, I was drinking when she met me. Met me, right? So. But that was years Ms. ago. Ms. Johnson, to stop. You, you you talked about the drinking. Can you give me some examples where you believe his drinking has caused difficulty? Um. You know, one time, Your Honor, 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm sleeping, Gilbert was out drinking, he comes in the house, and he just, like, turns the radio on, like, it's like he's at a club. So, he gets, so I tell him he has to, I tell Gilbert he has to leave. Um, he goes to his car, and he does the same thing. He turns up the, the volume of his car so that all the neighbors are, like, outside wondering what's going on with that. Outside wondering or outside partying with me? That they, they were. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's keep it real. Ms. Now. Mr. It's Lee, was, was she out there with you? Yeah, they was out there with me partying. I wasn't. She's looking out the window. She's upset now. The neighbors having a good time. She's the only one miserable. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Give me another example of, uh, of a time where you believe Mr. Lee's drinking has caused difficulty in your union. Um, well, Gilbert has gone to rehab several times. Um, him being away, I've had to pick up, like, you know, responsibilities of, you know, his half of the bills, his half of daycare. I had to do, like, extra things, you know, in the mm, house. Mm, mm. Now, Mr. Lee, how many... Have you gone to rehab? Yes, ma'am. How many times? And how many times have you gone to rehab? Twice. Twice, Twice was court ordered, so it wasn't like I wanted to go. I just did it so I wouldn't go to jail. Okay. Um... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> so, I guess, I guess that leads me to the next question, which is, do you believe you have a drinking problem? Oh, yes, I know I'm, I'm an alcoholic. Okay. But now I've got it arrested. I've been uh, to rehab six weeks ago, you know. Now everything's under control, but her and this drinking thing, this is crazy. <laughs> you know, this woman will ask me, do I want a drink? Right. Go to the liquor store, buy a fifth of liquor, come home, take a shot, and then go get in the bed with me in the bottle left in the living room. <laughs> and now, now, we... now, now, he admits he's an alcoholic. Do you bring temptation into the house mm. so he's, he's 
Don't every, every once now. in a while, you know, it is good to have a little bit of fun sometimes, but not, I mean, he takes it too far. Yeah. But see, alcoholics can't have a little fun. <laughs> One drink is too many. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. But I'm not an alcoholic. Oh, so I know, but he is. How, and how long <laughs> have we known is. this? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Mr. Lee, to your understanding, what do you believe is the, is the major uh, sticking point between you and marriage? Her mother. Her mother. Mm -hmm. What's up with her mother? Oh, mm. always in the middle. I'm talking about I had to marry both of them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I... Have you and her mother had difficulty in the past? And oh, if so, course. can you no. give me some examples of oh, what it, has it's occurred? Just, it's just this simple. Me and Kenya will have an argument. Right. She'll go to her mother. But I hate him. I never want to see him again. Her mother. You ain't get away from my daughter without like, cursing me out and all this. What do you have to say about that, Ms. Ms. Price Johnson? <laughs> uh, me and my mom are very close. We are very, very close. She's like my best friend. So, yeah, I do tell her arguments that we have. No, I don't want her not to like Gilbert because of the, when we, you know, the arguments that we have. But Gilbert does have to understand that she is my mother. And, Your Honor, he didn't tell you that he calls my mom and tells her arguments as well. Mm -hmm. Like, he tells her things about Do me and that me and him go through. Do you call mother and tell her about yes. the arguments I mean, after had? a certain yes. amount of time, after eight years, I say, let me call now while she's on the way over there so she can get my side of the story. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, after, you know. Let me, let me tell you both something that I always tell people about in-laws and, and outlaws. When you confide in parents or, or other people about the negative things that happen in the relationship, you paint a really black and ugly picture <laughs> of what that relationship is. You don't call mom, hey, the sex was really good. Hey, you don't do that. So she gets a very one-sided picture of the relationship because you feed one side of the picture and not the other. So you got to be grown about this thing. You, you, you with me? Yes, And I you am. too. Yes, ma'am. So I understand that not only is drinking a problem and mom's a problem, but finances are a concern as well. So I would like to turn my attention to what your current financial situation is and why you have concerns about it. Okay. I cook every day, but her he mother doesn't called. He doesn't want me to cook. Huh? What? No, like, he doesn't like for me to cook. And so he cooks? So he, does, so he doesn't want me to cook, so he does all the cooking. That's a hallelujah moment. <laughs> I don't know what you're complaining about. <laughs>
anything about that ring true to you? Um, yeah, the financial financial part. I would like Gilbert to help out more. Um, Gilbert, how does, what does a financial picture look like? Who's working? Who's bringing in how much money? Well, th we both work, um, but Gilbert brings in most of the money, but he wants to split the bills in half, which mm -hmm. I feel like that's kind of unfair because if you make most of the money, why don't you pay most of the bills? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Mr. Lee, what is your your uh, vision on the on the, the the division of financial responsibility in the home? Now, I wouldn't mind paying the majority of the bills if I had the majority mm -hmm. to say so. Like, if I'd be the man of the house instead of her mother. But since since I'm never gonna be the man of the house, <laughs> I'm only gonna pay half the rent. Okay. I... What what do you say, her and her mother are running that you disagree with, at, with respect to the household? Everything. The kids, I mean, she called him up. Mother got to tell her how to discipline the kids. Got to, I mean, what? Your mother only do everything. Right. What well, I me... should cook, how I should. I cook every day. But her he mother called. He doesn't want me to cook. Huh? What? No, like, he doesn't like for me to cook. And so he cooks? So he, does, so he doesn't want me to cook, so he does all the cooking. That's a hallelujah moment. <laughs> I don't know what you're complaining about. <laughs> Somebody help me. I don't understand that at all. <laughs> I, I don't understand that at all. You know, you do, he's willing to do it. He's willing to hold it down. What you gonna complain about it for? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Mr. Lee, I can't decide whether to like you or not. I can't. <laughs> I'm confused. All he could just let, let, let me ask you this. A lot of men come in here and say, if I were the man of the house, I would do da 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 mm -hmm. But they don't take responsibility. Do you take responsibility? Or do you make sure things happen and occur? Do you make sure the bills are paid? Are you the one that said, you know, she could, like, let it go for a month and you would, like, bam, know what to do and handle it? Or do you mm -hmm. rest on her efforts to make sure that everything is mm -hmm. functioning well? I took a step back. Because I've been trying to do that forever, but since it's not going to happen, you know, she won't, she won't lay back and, you know, she won't, like, like they said, the cooking. If I do all the cooking, you're going to complain about it. I mean, everything I he do, you're going to complain about it. He only cooks fried chicken. Oh, my Fried God. chicken. That's it. No, no size, no vegetables. My mother has to call and the kids and make sure they're having vegetables. Oh, my God. Because he won't cook God. it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move off of this. I want to go to my compatibility test, and I also want to talk to uh, uh, talk to you about the manner in which you communicate and what you say is verbally abusive. Do you talk about her belly? No, man. Oh, no, my gosh. If yes, you, you ask do. me, I mean, it's a, it's a trick question. Am I fat? No, you're not fat, baby. Are you sure? Yeah, what's this? And then she'll say, well, are you sure? Look, look. Is sharing your marital problems with your family ever a good idea? Tell us what you think at Facebook.com slash Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. You say that Mr. Lee, especially when he is intoxicated, speaks to you in an inappropriate manner. Why don't you tell me what he does and says that you find so distressing? Um, well, Gilbert has called me fat. Mm -hmm. He says, um, he says, look at your stomach. You need to go to the gym. Um, I have two kids, so of mm. course I'm going to have a little mm -hmm. stomach. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I work a lot, so it's not like I can go to the gym every day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, he's called me, I don't know, he's called me the B word before. Um, well, several times. That's just kind of like fluently in his mouth. Extremely disrespectful. Mr. Lee, your response to that? Now, if I say B, it's not me calling him. I have never called her that, but I have said you're acting like a crazy that's... at times because mm -hmm. it's, it's, that's it's still just true. That's calling me out my name. Well, I'm just sorry. I mean, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, I apologize. I've been working on are that. You a, are you a jovial, because you're a jovial, jovial sober person. Mm -hmm. Are you a jovial drunk as well? No, man. Are you, oh, 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 thank you. <laughs> you. So you're a cranky drunk? Crazy drunk. Crazy drunk. At times. <laughs> and you have a daughter, you know? Can I just put this out there? First of all, I respect the fact that you are trying to get that under control. Mm -hmm. I really, really do. And you're, I want you to understand that your daughter will live the life that you give your wife. Mm -hmm. And you have a daughter. 
So every time you throw any darts at her, whether inebriated or otherwise, that's throwing darts at your daughter. Mm -hmm. It throws darts at both of your kids. Right. But right. your daughter will They will, both girls. Will live will both girls. They, they will live that life. They will think that's okay. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I want you to put that in the back of your mind, even when you say you're acting like a all of that is off the table. Yes, ma'am. All of that. Cause you are, I do agree. Yeah, all of that is off the table. <laughs> now hmm. Do you talk about her belly? No, ma'am. Oh, no, my gosh. If yes, you ask you me, I mean, it's a, it's a trick question. Am I fat? <laughs> no, you're not fat, baby. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, w what's this? And then she'll say, well, Are you sure? Look, look. And I'm like, oh, no, you're not fat. And I'm, so I say, OK, you want me to help you work on that? Let's go to the gym three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday together. She said, OK, that, that, that worked out. Do you out. start the Am I Fat conversation? I have sometimes, only because we I women. Mean, sometimes I just want to know. I just want him to tell That's me that I That's a trick bag. Told that is a trick. No, 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 no. <laughs> I figured that out. I used to say my whole time, is this, he go, you know, baby, I love it all. Baby, I love it all. And you yeah. keep talking, and you keep talking, and you keep talking. And it, it, what do you want me to say? <laughs> My husband just like, what do you want me to say? Mm. So, you mm. know, you can't do that. You can't put him in a trick bag. If you say, am I fat, and he says, I like it, leave it alone. Yes, <laughs> you know you think you're fat. That's what your problem is. Mm -hmm. You're putting that on him. You don't like your belly. So you're putting it on him, am I fat? You, you want him to fix that for you. He can't. <laughs> The, yeah. the belly is not his problem. That's your problem. Yeah. He don't have a problem with it. You do. Uh -huh. <laughs> I see what's happening here. <laughs> what's the best answer when your partner asks, am I fat? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. Not gonna lie, I came out here prepared not to like you. You came up tired and sad, both in the in the letter that was written and in in the things that she was saying about your drinking. But I'm gonna tell you something. Number one, you're addressing the drinking, which is all that you can do. Number two, you are facilitating the drinking, which is something you ought not do. Number three, I read your compatibility test. This man over here took his test and wrote down, I, my, my, my best, my favorite part of this is what's wrong with you. He wrote down exactly what was wrong with him. He knows, he's self-aware. You, on the other hand, <laughs> when I asked you what's wrong with you, you said, my cooking skills could improve. It, that's the only thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that only was thing. it. <laughs> there was no insight, there was no understanding, there was no self-awareness, there was no examination. You just, I don't cook. Well, whoop de do. <laughs> <laughs> you got two kids together, you've been together 12 years. Neither one of you is gonna leave one another. I think this man is on the right track. I think you heard me when I said that your daughters are going to live the life that you give your wife. Mm -hmm. And I think that's going to walk out of here with you. And to the extent that does, and to the extent that you maintain your sobriety, I believe that he's a good dude. He, he makes twice as much money as you did, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I thought he was a bum <laughs> by what you wrote down here. <laughs> You know he, what I mean? You just, you need to grow up a little bit. You need to manage your relationship within the context of your relationship and not pull your mama into every other thing that happens at your house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna give you this marriage certificate. I'm just gonna slide it over here to the left and let it fall. But what I will say to you this, I think you guys are a great couple in the making. I really, really do. Best of luck to the both of you. This matter is adjourned. Fun. The judgment said about us not being, you know, ready for marriage yet, but we're a good couple. I really appreciate her honesty. Um, I really do understand where she's coming from. I will take her opinion in holding off on the marriage. I still see my, uh, I still see myself marrying Kenya one day, but I'm not gonna put a time frame on because we just need to work on things we need to work on. I can't say how long it's gonna take. 